ESPN Radio for True Green. Are you ready to elevate your lawn game without breaking the bank? True Green has been the trusted choice for over 2 million homeowners for over 50 years. Visit TrueGreen.com and discover the easiest and affordable way to achieve a pro-level lawn guaranteed. Plus, enjoy True Green's verified price matching, ensuring you get the best lawn for the best price. Visit TrueGreen.com and transform your lawn effortlessly. That's TrueGreen.com. Your dream lawn is just around the corner. 118 to the Southland. Here we go. It is a live imaging Tuesday. Oh, God. What? That's a live imaging Tuesday. I love live oh, imaging. Yeah. That's, oh, that's what boy. we're doing? Yeah, that's what we're doing. You had four producers in there prepping oh, with you. That's what you came By up with? By the way, with? I believe there's just one, but go ahead. No, Run you had with Greg. Your... You yeah. had Lindsay. Well, Greg is a host. But I'm he's also producer. executive producer, too, of the show. So he's a producer. And then I believe Laura was in there at one she point. She was not. Oh, she that's that's no. different. Travis said he yeah, saw Laura in there. Laura, not there. So you had two she producers for is. a two-hour show, no. one for each hour. And also, Greg said, I'm going to let Lindsay hand it over to Lindsay. And that, he... Did you have flashbacks, exactly. Mace? I did. Yeah. I had some, I <laughs> sent a chill down my spine. She did a but... very good job. No, she, she did a great job. A you know things. what else is chilling? What? Mason and Bergman. The biggest show on the radio, your Tuesday afternoon right now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Celebrating their 20th year on the air. And I'm Morales and Bergman. I mean, excuse me, not Mason and Bergman. Wow, that was a weird. Yeah, that was weird. The Reddit page is now exploding. <laughs> no, Morales and Bergman going to be here they 20 years. Bad it. news, oh, everybody. God. I don't have 20 years yeah. in me. If it's not the Reddit page that doesn't like it, the YouTube will not like oh, that, yeah. it's Mor- that it's Mason and Bergman. Oh, really? Oh, the YouTube they, will they not want that. No, those pens are moving oh, fast. The YouTube yeah. chat yeah. is is uh, not a healthy place. It's, uh, it's not. I stopped going to it because it's not healthy yeah, in the slightest. I quit. My informant in the Reddit page apparently has gotten kicked out again. Oh, really? Because he likes to make fun of the people. I guess at the Reddit page, penis thubs and that whole coalition. Oh, right, right, that whole You can make fun of people that you don't even know that are just doing their job, Mm -hmm. but if you dare make fun back, you're getting kicked out. Oh, is that right? Unacceptable. Unacceptable. So, uh, go ahead. You show Antonio you think he did it. No, I'm kind of showing it out. out. I feel like the listeners Well, now. people are just tuning in. because yeah. uh, the, the, You think big, it's a fresh audience? No, I, I think people are just tuning in now. Right now? Yeah. You don't think they listen to Super I Cross think they on one? I think they missed. So, they know Super to come Crosser. in at 120. Correct. It's, 120. By the way, real quick, possibly. producer Lindsay is here. And yes. so is producer Brian Cohen. Yeah. Lindsay yeah, has buddy. some drama going on that we talked about at the last hour of the afternoon show oh, yesterday. Oh, God. What was the drama? <laughs> oh, we've been hearing about it. Wait a minute. What? I don't... I think we could, if you want to get into that now or you want to talk Otani. I would rather get into Lindsay's drama. Okay, let's get into Lindsay's drama. By the way, short show today. We're leading up to uh, Lakers Milwaukee, and we're on until 3. Yes. Until 3 o'clock. So, Lindsay, what's your drama? Fill us in. I don't have any drama. Oh, come on. I what what happened during the last hour of the show last night? Um, well, I, I told the guys about <laughs> Parker a, par- smiling a parking incident. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's excited yeah. About I mean, I don't really want to, like, re, you know, like, you know. Ever, the, the, the tale is twisted and turned so many times now. It's almost So you have a parking crisis? Uh, there's no crisis. <laughs> Come on, let's, the, the let's parking, pump the, up the drama here. <laughs> right. I know, there's I'm just saying, you guys, I don't know what you guys have been saying because you've apparently been talking about it, but I was prepping for the show with me, so I don't no, know what's we been just, said. Oh, I, Travis and Sliwa, we just talked about what the ordeal was because Sliwa came into it. Yeah. So Sliwa asked, how did it all get resolved? And I said, I don't know if it did. I don't think it's resolved Because it spilled it into be. Lakers talk. We do a cross talk with Lakers talk. Oh, is that, are we doing one today? No. Oh, no, no, Lakers, Lakers talk pregame. Oh, okay, got it. I mean, oh, you can yesterday. if you want. Yeah. yeah, no, that's okay. I'll get out of the three. You think Slee's going home to do it? No, because we have a meeting at two. Okay, good. Slee is... Staying here. Staying here. So yeah. he can come in yeah. for Game of Games, maybe. Yeah, we're off to a sluggish start, my God. <laughs> Let's go to the Shohei thing. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to lean on the Shohei story, which... Please do, please Listen, do. if I commit a crime one day where my alibi has 97 holes in it, I hope that you two are my defense attorneys, because you will just... Take whatever I'm saying and go with it. So tell me the wiggle room here. Shohei says... We can go back to the Shohei wiggle room from yesterday, which Sho- is... Wait a minute. Shohei says... Right. Ipe stole my money. Right. Ipe says, I stole Shohei's money. Uh-huh. Where is the... There is that no is wiggle room. That is to believe room. that there is no financial advisor, tax accountant, tax lawyer, Lots anybody of- reviewing his books that would say, hey, is that 500000 withdrawal that happened a couple times? This year, tax deductible? Or it, ha- it happened would, in two months. Or do we need to October, report that November. to the federal government? Yeah. That's to say that nobody talks to Otani about his money, that there's no, no advisor, no. there's nobody looking it, at it. It means to say that this guy was not just an interpreter, he was a personal assistant. Right. And that's, that's is he, a tax, that is he his accountant and his tax uh, doesn't, advisor? Doesn't matter. And his business there advisor? There are people. He could have been one of those guys that so Otani would say. So you're believing that Otani didn't know at all. So none Correct. of those people that touch his business 
Okay. This is no, they did find it. Obviously, yeah. they found it. The feds found it. Yeah, but uh, the obviously Shohei it took must some have time, found right? out. Right. No, it did so, take oh, wait, time. No, no, no. So Otani knew ahead of time. Right. He found out when Ipe told him he no, stole no, the no, money. No, 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 no. No. We're talking about the time leading up to this to say that a man who has to file taxes in every state he performs Correct. In, which means that you have tax lawyers. Right. This isn't going to H&R Block. You have a staff of tax people that right. deals with this. Nobody caught this, so you're saying that nobody caught it, or somebody did catch it and they didn't tell Otani. But what you're what what you're not taking into account is the all the the athletes, all of the uh, actors and talented people with all this money have gotten ripped off by advisors and people that they work with. Right, it's happened many times. So you're over saying the years. again from he Kareem didn't say, through Billy Joel. These aren't everybody. outside business people. Correct. Those are usually hey, do you want to invest in this? We are going to put this investment together. Right. 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 So that's completely different. This is somebody internally who took money from his account without anybody knowing. Because that would be saying that nobody picked up on it. Not tax people, not accountants, not business advisors, not wealth management people. All of them missed it. Missed $4 million over two years, right? Clearly they did. There's a lot of or, follow-up questions here that need to be asked. Right. Or they didn't miss it, and Otani was in on it, and he's guilty too. So what he said right. yesterday, show what he was saying but yesterday. But why do you guys believe him? But I don't see any reason to doubt him. Why don't you see a reason to doubt him? Why do you not doubt him? Why do you doubt him? Has, has what, anybody, what is there, is, do you think Shohei Otani is times, a flat-out liar? Yes. Is he lying? Yes. So, I think someone told him to lie. Okay. But regardless, why did he hire a, a crisis for management team? What do you think he says when the FBI comes to him? Do you think he lies or do yes. you think he tells the truth? Or he just says, I don't know. Or he takes the fifth. Come out that if he if he actually does lie, everything that he says, everything about why his do you money, guys believe him? Why, why do you believe him? Why do you not? Why should he? Because you be? has he ever lied? Does he have on. a history of lying? There's multiple holes in his story. There's multiple follow-up questions, and have we never been lied to by athletes and or politicians? Sure, sure, but we've so also we heard him? the other side. Kareem getting cleaned out for $59 million or whatever it was. We've heard the other side Did the side FBI show up to Kareem's house? I don't you're, know you're the talking about the FBI, of it years you, ago. You don't think that the FBI is going to go and look at all of his accounts yes. and look at every single wild chancellor and look at every holes in IP story. address to Lindsay's right. point? He's going to look at every single thing, mm-hmm. and, wh- and he knows that as well, and his so people you're saying, know that, and his crisis management team right. knows that as well. So all those people, financial people that their job is to manage millions and or billions of dollars are going to take the hit for his interpreter, saying that we don't, we're not going to tell Shohei that there's money missing. All I, those people. I don't know when they discovered so the money was missing. What he I don't says know yesterday. if the investigative Wait, people are going to file taxes then? What Lee literally said yesterday, initially, Ipe San told my I don't care what Ipe says. No, this, I don't no, believe this is, them. This is what Shohei said. I don't Shohei believe him. You don't bl- so Shohei's just it's a liar. What, I'm they just had not ready five to write somebody off They had five days to get their story correct, guys. Five days with a crisis management team. You don't think they can get their story yeah, correct? I'm sorry. There's a reason after why they, he wasn't taking questions. After they well, screwed the story up day one. You can't one. take questions. Okay, how about this? Let's go you back. Did they screw questions. up the story day one? Yes, the story so was screwed up. after they screwed it up, you guys are now... Ipe oh, lied to It's so amazing on day they got one. their story straight after five days. Well, is Ipe going to jail? Shouldn't he? He's if going he to, is going he's to go going to jail. To. He well, stole four point five million dollars. Why hasn't he been indicted? Because the FBI needs to. Why do that. wouldn't Shohei go up there and say you're going yeah, to you jail? Do you know how long it takes for an indictment to come out? He's going to he be indicted. He just admitted to it. Ipe is going to be indicted. So Ipe is why going to go Shohei to jail. Say that it has to he's go through to the jail. proper authorities yeah. and, has and to you're go saying Ipe will go to jail for Shohei. How about this? You both are gutless Dodger apologists See, you that are just so go desperate to that. I'm just that are so desperate for some hope with the Dodgers this year because you know Robert screws it up every yeah, season. Yeah, I'm just not ready found to come a way. out Good and job. say Shohei to to Otani is a liar. You have to believe Shohei Otani. Why do we think he's not a liar? I, Why I, do we believe him so much? I have so no much? experience with him where he lies. Do you, has he told do other lies? Is he, a, is he a relentlessly chronic liar? Well, we know his interpreter is. His, his interpreter stole $4.5 million. But that's his trusted best friend. No, he also but lied about his background, when, right? Wait, when people, he when lied about steals. his wife. He said she was just a regular girl. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, she, I mean, I think no, that, that's, that's okay. I know, I'm just kidding. That's, 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 that's a normal Japanese woman. She's not a normal Japanese woman. Obviously, she's a superstar athlete. Listen, here's the thing. But you guys want to and believe him? And his dog's name. I do believe him. No, he didn't lie. He never said what his dog's name was. If he was a Yankee? A cub, an angel, or an astro. Oh, God forbid if he was an astro. Untrue. 
Or a gnat? Untrue. You guys would be crucified. No, him. untrue. Because there's so, so many balls in his story. And by the way, that's why we're going to take apart that guy in Toronto who was doing the over unders in the. Uh, well, he didn't even. John Tay Porter? Did, yeah. John Tay Porter? Right. We're, we're well, if, he take, was a, if he was a Laker, Laker, can you imagine today? No, oh my no. God, I would be all over. No, you would. A hundred percent. You guys, you guys believe so him. Obvious. I believe him. No, 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 no. That was so obvious that this he was guilty. This one is so guilty. He pulled himself out after three minutes. Yeah. That story is amazing. We'll do that story coming out. It's such an amazing story. Story. Listen, this is what happened. They're going to investigate it. They're going to do the IP address, whatever. They're going to figure yep. out where this was wired from. Yes. And, and you know what's going to happen? Shohei's going to say, this guy has been next to me for the past however many years. He never leaves my side. In fact, he stays at my house all but the time. But that is true. So he, he sent it from my computer at my house. That's what he's going to say. See, I'm I not going to be able to prove I think the, the IP address is going to come from some other computer, not Shohei's computer. Well, if it comes from even Shohei's, he can easily comes, say, oh, it wasn't me. Do you know what happens when you try to access... Anything like that, banking from a different IP address, you get alerted on your phone immediately. Try to wire money from your account from a no. different IP address that hasn't logged into your account. You will get alerted immediately. You, can, I can't. Is it, is it, hang on for a second. Hold if on. I use my credit card at Best Buy right. for over a thousand dollars, I get an alert on my phone right. immediately. But the idea it's a that somebody account. doesn't have signing power on your account is ridiculous. You don't when think that Otani gets an alert or his financial? No, I think. Yeah, he said he did. He said he stole it. He said he stole it. He accessed my account. He did not say he had access to my account. But he didn't say he illegally accessed my account. He said he stole it from him. He stole it, but he didn't say. Wait, illegal access my account. Let me ask you a question. When yes. you use your debit, when your debit card gets stolen, yeah. let's say someone steals your oh, debit I'm, card. Come on, this is rinky dinky. Come listen, on. no, no, no. Nobody, I'm just saying. No, don't you? Listen, it's not rinky dinky. Listen, yeah, listen, listen. When your when your debit card gets stolen and you want to file a fraud alert, it wasn't me. Yeah. Uh, somebody in Mumbai used my debit card. Yeah, right. And they say, do they have your PIN number? And you say yes. Then you're responsible because you gave them access. Sure. Okay, but let me. And by the way, it sounds like Shohei was responsible because he's missing four point five million dollars. Is it if not possible that he got then he can't every prove. single thing uh, had access to his accounts, had access yeah, to everything? Yeah, completely. Because he could actually, he could literally have his PIN number, then it's so not he doesn't stealing. have to touch Correct. anything. Then it's if not I stealing. Give, oh, it is stealing. If, if, I give if, you Lind, have, if I give Lindsay my login information mm -hmm. and she goes to a different IP address tonight and logs into a. Uh, I have a business account that's more of a trust account. She has your takes, login. I information. give her my login. Oh, you're done. And takes five hundred dollars. No, yeah. I get an alert immediately that somebody new logged in. Even though she's a signer on your account, yes. she's a signer on your account. It's a different IP address. You're, you're so acting, that's to say that he's logging in constantly. You're acting like Shohei hasn't. That he's looking at his phone and being like, but "Oh, I'm some, getting something." But don't you think there, somebody is? Somebody could possibly. But somebody if you know where has to know where his money's going, going, if he is going to, as as Shohei is saying, he talked to his agents and talked to his people. It show that at Epe is. Going to these people and saying, this is what's happening. I'm paying off a debt for somebody else because that's what he so said. So then, wait a minute. So Shohei that knows point, that at that point. No, he doesn't. No. So his no, advisors doesn't are now believing his him. His advisor is talking to Ipe, who is his trusted best friend. Right. Yes, they are going to fully believe him. You're taking a huge leap. That's not That's no, not it's a, such huge, a good, huge leap. It's, it's such a good story. I, want, I mean, I want you to keep going at it. No, you're right. it's <laughs> keep huge going at it. It's four such a great five story. people that are their job. Because, again, Shohei could come back at them if they approved these things and mismanaged his finances. Okay, well, let me, let me just throw you one thing out. You can just say that he, let me that throw he told him to Shohei, and he'd be like, cool. So, uh, obviously, Juan is signing power on all right. of my accounts. Right. If he were to wire, I don't know, it wouldn't be, four, let's say $450. If he were to wire $450. No, that's not, that's not reality. $4,500. So no, that's still not reality. Sure it is. He wires $50,000 multiple times. Wouldn't know. You think you, your tax advisor, Absolutely would who not you know. have. Would have no clue. Your accountants would never tell no, you. They, my accountants don't follow my account on a day-to-day -day basis. But when they do your taxes, they do. Sure, maybe at the end of the year I would yes. find out. Oh, taxes, oh this, wait a minute. Well, wait, was so this happened the over the a two-month period? Out. It just no, no, happened. No, no, this has been going back to 2021. Well, wait a minute. No, is, is it, it, it was 2023. October no. and November of 2023. No, it's not. You sure? I'm, That's what uh, I'll, 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 Fabian I'll, Ardaya me, told us let yesterday. Let me fact check this right now, but I'm fairly certain the ESPN report said going back, the wire transfers go back to 2021. So Fabian did come on yesterday and said that it was October to November of Let me double check this. I will double check this. Okay. I thought it was two years also, but when Fabian said that, that's why I went with that. Okay. But, all right. Uh, so you so, guys want to believe him, which is fine. I, I just don't. don't want, I'm not ready to just come out and call some new guy in town a at liar. At some point, why? you have to believe a person at their word until they've been proven. Because why? Because it's, it's innocent why? until proven guilty. Oh, by the way, no, this you is don't. In a court of law. You no, don't have to. I mean, opinions. it kind of is. No, I don't. Not. I don't want Morales to change his opinion. I want him to stick with his opinion. I have plans because it's good radio. Now, if he t sure. if, it, if it all is investigated and everything, and he's squeaky clean, okay. I'll say, yeah, I was wrong. Just like many times we've been lied to by people. So if the FBI comes out and says, 
It was Ipe. It wasn't Shohei. You accept that as the sure. fact. I might not believe it, but I will accept it because then right. he's going to get a clean bill of health. So you're still not going to believe it, even no. if the FBI says There's it. There's too many holes in the yeah. story. So it has gone back to 2021. M- Mizahura <laughs> tells ESPN he met Bauer, Bauer at a poker game in San Diego in 2021. Then he started betting. Doesn't, doesn't mean that he took he money started, from him. He said he started betting with Bauer on credit shortly after they met. Placing several wagers on several sports, but not baseball. Not but, baseball. But that, but that doesn't say that he was taking money from Otani in 2021. He was taking money from him in 2023, September to us. He so, said by the October. end of 2022, he had lost over one million dollars and was borrowing money. So where did he get the money from? Borrowing money from whom? Over a million dollars. Who's he borrowing? Does money he have from? a lot of rich friends that he has access to their accounts? Well, we don't. Or we just don't one. Know who he I mean, we money don't from. know. And by the way, I'll just give you personal experience with Keyshawn. Oh, okay. Keyshawn watches his account. He knows every dollar. He pulls it up on his phone. He also has five people, Some people that touch are like his that. accounts. I don't know anything. Five different people I don't that know touch anything his in my account. And Keyshawn ain't worth anywhere no, near but I'm t- Shohei. And I'm not no, worth anywhere near Shohei but, uh, or uh, Keyshawn, but I have no idea where my money but is. But at the end of the year, somebody would tell you if $40,000 of your money was missing. Somebody would especially tell you if $4 million of your money was missing. Yeah. Somebody would tell you because that's their job. All right. Uh, coming Wait, up- can I ask a question really quick? Yeah, do it. If... If indeed, like let's say his original story was true, that he went to Otani and said, hey, I have a debt of $4 million. I can't pay it. Um, I just need you to help me out because I'm in a really bad spot. I'm worried about my safety. Can you help me out? Yep. And he said, what's it for? And he said, I don't really feel like telling you because, you know, I just don't want to get into it, but I really need your help. And he said, okay, sure, no problem. And he wired the money, not knowing it was going to an illegal bookie. What's wrong with that? Otani being... committed a crime. Well, yeah, what's that's wrong? A crime. No, that, that's, that's a, that's a crime. called a crime. That is a that's crime. a federal crime. But he doesn't it's know federal, it's a crime. It's a federal, it doesn't federal crime. It doesn't matter. You're that's responsible. The most, that, okay. That's the most likely scenario, actually. The Occam's oh, Razor. Oh, wait a minute. You say Occam's Razor is. Yeah, that is that is the most likely scenario. I still I believe Shohei, but that's the most likely scenario. And if he does that, he can no longer go back to that. Right. He can't go that back to the true. excuse ever again. Right. From what he said oh, yesterday, yeah. that does not exist in his Shohei's world. Let's be clear. If Shohei Otani wired funds to an illegal bookmaker, he's in huge trouble. That Which is a they federal will, crime. You're they going will find to jail. It out. At minimum, that's a fine, and at maximum, that's going to jail. Yep. We need a lawyer. Well, we should get a lawyer on. Well, well Jacob's call, coming call in Jacob. later. Jacob's coming, uh, he's he's coming later. He's not a, yeah, oh, no, uh, Jacob Romani is our lawyer. He's our lawyer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, uh, coming up next... <laughs> Don't well, be. I love Jacob, but I'm just saying, like, I think we need like a criminal, like high end corporate lawyer. Uh, Jacob Morani is the guy. Uh, here's what Jacob's going to tell you. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a tax attorney. <laughs> <That's> a, <he's laughs> like, I don't want to touch it. But if yeah. Shohei runs into something, be call me up. Yeah. All right. Uh, coming up next for you, uh, Bergman. This came up today, and I think it is a terrible sign of the times. It's about the NFL and scheduling. Uh, let's get into that. Coming up next. What is it? Did you ask yeah. me? I'll tell you next. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my favorite place to pay, play poker in the world is Commerce Casino. I'm not bluffing here. Uh, ha! Here's why. The Commerce Casino and Hotel, thank you for the laugh, is the largest and best poker room in Southern California and the largest poker room in the whole world. And there is always a seat for you at Commerce, maybe even next to me. I'm there all the time. The poker action never ends at Commerce. This year alone, Commerce will pay out over $20 million in jackpots. Great food at Commerce, amazing staff, beautiful hotel rooms, daily tournaments, and the Commerce Casino and Hotel is the official home. Home for Mandy's three this June, we wouldn't have it anywhere else. Commerce Casino, sixty-one thirty-one Telegraph Road in Commerce. For more information, visit commercecasino.com. That's commercecasino.com, and I'll see you at the Commerce Mason, Ireland, seven ten ESPN.
Everybody is weak. You can say after one thing under oath and another and thing after in arguing life. this nonsense. Oh, this Mr. Gosh, ridiculous. By the way, at home, I'm getting the same damn thing. Juan's like laughing at me. He's like, ah, show me a time. I saw you got you something nice for your birthday. You I did. Hope, I hope he takes that and cracks your skull. Yeah. Well, that's, I wouldn't count that Because it's the most obvious <laughs> answer. The most obvious answer is that he was helping, but he cannot go back to that. So it doesn't show hey. Yeah. You no, could ride like the wind, like Shohei. 20 minutes yes. in front of 2 o'clock. Are we still doing Yacht Rock? Because Friday night. Friday night, I just got Are off the phone. Are they going to play Ride Like the Wind? Yeah. I just got off the phone. Isn't this their version? No, it's Christopher Cross. Christopher Cross. Just got off the phone with their manager Friday night at the Whiskey yes. in West Hollywood. Still a few tickets left for 710 ESPN. I come on out. Plus, they've got an open band. So, really, Yali Crew's not going on until like 1030. 10, 10, 10 30. 30. Oh, wow. That's might have to get a little pixie dust. Yeah, in might might have to. Do you have some? Is that what you call it? I will Friday night. Pixie <laughs> dust? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm excited. I, I couldn't get the jacket that you guys are wearing. It's sold out. But Cappy texted you two weeks ago. I know. And I, so it's, now Cappy it's sold and I out. Have, but the. What do you mean? It's so, uh, all I can do is go to Amazon. They say it's sold out. What am I supposed to do? But Cappy and I are going to have matching clothes, and you're not? I'm I'm not. You I, know what you are? I have no control you know over it. You know what you are? Uh, don't Here tell comes. me I'm gutless. You're a gutless I scumbag. I got a different sailor suit. Oh, a scumbag, not bum. I thought you were going bum there. Yeah, is Juan different... wearing a sailor suit, too? No, he's not. But Juan, w- both Juan's of us coming? are getting lit Friday, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see Juan. We're Ubering, and both of us oh, are going to get lit. Oh, you can't. really excited about that. I like that. Juan. He yeah. hates you. I, no, he what? actually hates you. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Why does he hate me? That's why does he hate me? I'm really Greg nice. Greg is coming over to the jacuzzi. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. If that's it, if, that, if I find him. that out. By the way, Juan would let me in the jacuzzi. Yeah, no, he would let. He'd let Cappy in. He'd let Bergman in. It's you that he's got a problem with. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. What's going to happen? Dump truck? I'm going to dump truck him. <laughs> Wait till Juan gets dump truck. Oh. It could change everything. <laughs> he, he will remember that. Who did I dump truck? Oh, I dump trucked Cody at uh, pickleball. Oh, did and he you? Kid, he asked for it. If you don't see it coming, <laughs> he say, it's I want to be dump truck. Yeah, and then I, I said, "Now nah, we're not going to do that." And then thirty seconds later, bam, kid went flying. <laughs> You gotta be prepared for the dump truck. Uh, so uh, I want to get to this. Um, Ooh, oh, do you have school. something to get to? Uh, at the end. Okay. So um, NFL EVP, what is EVP? Executive okay. Vice President, yes. Media <laughs> Distribution, Han Schroeder. Han Schroeder. Who I believe also races on uh, uh, the. Uh, does, it doesn't sound like a race car Wasn't driver. It Hogan Han Heroes? Schroeder. <laughs> yeah, Han Schroeder was. Uh, there will be a Christmas Day doubleheader. Despite it being on a Wednesday. Now, the NFL has never played on a Wednesday before. I love before. it. They have now hit every day now. Yes. yes. Every day. Because of the COVID, Friday and Tuesday got hit, right? Yep. 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 And now they've hit, they're they going to hit Wednesday. Hitting it's Wednesday. not just that. They're taking Christmas away from the NBA now. Well, I kind of feel like they did that, though, well, right? They I did mean, that last year. But well, you're right. It never happened on a Wednesday. Never on a Wednesday. So NBA no longer has any control over Christmas Day. Well, it was on a Sunday, though. It was on Sunday, so it was no. okay that there but were But the games. NBA never had rights to Christmas Day. I mean, but they they had unofficial rights. Yeah, unofficial. Well, Braun has already checked in and said his ankle's going to hurt on Christmas. Oh, there playing. you go. Well, so, he's not playing today. The here's why the NFL doesn't care about you at all. <laughs> Amazon <laughs> is doing a wild card playoff game this year, which means you have to have Amazon. They're going yep. to start streaming stuff. This is where the, we're going. The Eagles have their season opener in Brazil. That game will air only on Peacock. Now, I feel bad for two reasons. One, the Eagles lose a home game. And secondly, the people that watch the game have to have Peacock to watch it. I mean, I understand this is where things are going, but to me, it's like leaving, getting every dime off the table. They are just gouging people by making them sign up for these uh, streaming services. I hate that, that it's just it's more than that. You're losing a home opener. Right, right. Dude, the home opener is not going to be in Philadelphia, so that's a game that most Eagle fans in Philadelphia, or any fans, like Rams game, if it's a Rams in Brazil on a home opener, you'd be upset. Well, first three years, they Rams actually, had games in Europe. Yeah, yeah, but, they, um, they might get more Rams fans in Brazil than at SoFi. Yeah, well, the, the other team. Uh, no, but the Rams but, had three trips to Europe in their first three years here. But it, so. it, was it their home opener instead of their uh, home No, opener? not their home opener. Exactly. I was the, at one the, of those games. The home opener is at that big game. Like, hey, it's football season. Sure, we're back. We're sure. back and we're going to, back to these games. Taking it away? It's, well, here's, here's the thing. The NFL, again, all they care about is money. Yep. They think they can grow the sport in South America, which, by the way, I don't think it's got much of a base in South I understand the Europe thing. There are a lot of NFL Europe fans. There are not a lot of uh, NFL fans in Brazil or in South America. So I don't understand why. I understand they want to grow the sport, yeah. but they're screwing the Eagles. Uh, and they're screwing people by making and you sign up for a streaming service in order to watch it. That's where it's going to happen, guys. Well, that's We've been we- talking about cutting the cord for years. Everybody. But, but we- nobody can. 
<laughs> well, now now we know. No, but it was all a trick. It's so friggin' confusing <laughs> to cut the cord. Bergman, I don't even think you have a cord cut anymore. Well, I mean, like, it's cord cutting, but I have to buy every single different streaming service, including In- DirecTV Stream, yes, which is including de- basically stream, cable. Yes, which is basically. I want to go back to cable. I legitimately <laughs> want to go back to cable and stop all. Oh, this. you don't want to go if, back. If to I cable. can take all those streaming services and put it in a cable package, I would do. Cable that. is so much crap. It really is. But I, so, I but get so irritated every time the Look, Spectrum bill comes in. You watch. Uh, but don't you get your Wi-Fi through that? You Juan watches there. Bravo, yeah. right? Juan he does. watches he Bravo. W- and, uh, yes. You don't watch that. No. But he's going to, so you're going to have to put that into your There's, streaming he's service. He's got Peacock. Peacock yeah. has all the Bravo. Yeah. So, so you got Peacock. Ask it's Ireland. the same thing. There's going to be a whole bunch of stuff that you don't watch that Juan watches. So I think HGTV it, is its own separate app. I think we can almost I cut think. the cord. I don't, I no, no, it's no. on Max now. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. 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 I think we can almost cut the cord. Here's Here's what we can do, okay? So if you get rid of cable, you can now, as long as you have Spectrum Internet, right. you can now buy Laker Games Direct and Dodger Games Direct. So I cannot watch the Dodger Games on Direct TV Stream. No, but if you really? if you had wow. wait a minute, if you had Spectrum Cable, you would be able well, to. Yeah, you have yeah, to yeah. have Spectrum Cable in I do, order I have, to do it. I have Spectrum Wi-Fi. But I have Direct TV, like regular Direct TV, so I can log into Direct TV stream and watch it. Right, yeah. right. Um, and then the other, the, the other, pro- you can get by with all the streaming services, but the cable package is like two hundred bucks now. But and in most of his stuff, I'm never going to use, never going to watch, ne- don't care about. Yeah, that's that's just how. But I have watch, to get it for how do you watch like, Lakers? Don't you watch like CNN? Yeah, I, I would like something to give me the news channel. So how do you I watch, watch Fox those? News. I'm a big Fox News Channel guy. Um, how do I, you watch those if you don't have cable? I think I don't know. Sling TV has. So them. how much is Sling? Yeah, I don't. It's or YouTube a, TV? Isn't YouTube TV like listen, seventy five dollars? Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah. Stuff on YouTube have Sling. TV I have Go ahead. Sling, and there are certain Rams games that you can't watch locally. I forget which one it is, but it's one of the three main channels that doesn't have the games. I don't. I think it might be Fox actually. Fox? Whenever the games it are on Fox, Fox, you can't watch them. Yes, yeah, I want to get Sling just so I Sling that stuff. <laughs> Some. Somebody's got to rebundle this for us. Yeah, it's gonna. Re- there it, needs to be a new bundle of streaming services coming. that we can subscribe to. It's basically we're reinventing the same thing. Didn't you see this thing. coming? Yeah, this is. We're Do you going didn't back. see this coming for all the years that we're building? That, that you weren't going to be able to get away from paying the same amount of money. They knew exactly what they were doing. Just like who's but again, they? The companies that put the out this up. Big yeah. TV. Big TV. <laughs> right. Just like you Big believe, streaming. You seem to be very gullible. You believe Shoei. You believe the cable. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you're very naked. cynical. But to go back to the NFL portion yes. of it, this is what they're doing. They do not care about no, they your don't wallet. care about you. The Super Bowl is going to eventually be on Amazon or Peacock. By the way, really think so? Yes, not at 100%, least. 100%. 100%. The, spe- I would be the shocked. Super Bowl is spoken for through 2032. So the first time the Super Bowl could stream is 2033. So we're a few years off, but I would I would not it's put it past them. I would, I'll tell you, they really want to make money. Make it pay-per-view. Yeah, but then, kidding me? How much money would they make if it was but paid they want to keep we'll pay for it Because we will all pay for it. You'll pay for it, and you'll pay for yep, it, and right. whatever it costs, we will pay for it because it's a huge day with food and everything. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. All right, uh, coming up next, going to do the wheel of questions. Morales is hanging out for live Im- imaging Tuesday. Bergman's here. Lindsay's here. Brian's here. Seven ten ESPN. Let me tell you about our friends at the East Central Hotel. Cappy's staying there tonight. I think I'm staying what there. What room? What room? I don't know what room. Eight oh seven. I heard he was in eight oh seven. Is he eight oh seven? Yeah, eight oh seven. We should go visit him. Y- knock you, knock. You can you can visit him. East Central Hotel. I'll be there, I think, tomorrow night. It's a contemporary hotel with an authentic L.A. vibe located in the heart of downtown Los Angeles across from L.A. Live, Crypto.com Arena, Microsoft Theater, and the Los Angeles Convention Center. The East Central Hotel is perfectly situated to accommodate travelers who want to experience all, everything that Los Angeles has to offer. Yeah, that's from Sliwa earlier. Mmm. Mmm. Imagine modern convenience with a front row seat to the world of sports and entertainment. Whether you are coming to downtown L.A. to see a concert, show, event, maybe you're here for a convention. East Central provides entertainment to travelers and local Angelinos. The best place to stay in the city. The biggest rooms in the city. I've stayed in a lot of rooms in downtown L.A. Don't ask why, sucker. But the East Central Hotel is the biggest. You bounced around a little bit. I go bouncing sometimes. Book your next stay at eastcentralhotel.com. Eastcentralhotel.com. Tell them Cappy or Morales sent you. Send you. Give them a call. 213-748-1291 today. East Central Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. Entertainment's official address. You never have to miss a moment of it.
Producer Brian Cohen, are you ready with that wheel? Hit it, Jack. All right, here we go. Wheel of questions. Bergman's in for Ireland. Lindsay producing. Brian producing. All right, this is good. So NASA is sending a message in a bottle to Jupiter's moon. Okay. Okay. Now they're putting like some poetry and some names and symbols and sort of stuff out there in case somebody finds it. For some extra at Jupiter. At Jupiter, yes. Okay. So the question is, if you were to put something in the bottle to represent the human race, what would you put in there? <laughs> There's a lot of bad things. Yes, there are. Gambling apps. I would put gambling all, apps. To, yeah. There'd be a bunch of gambling yeah. apps inside. Yeah. What would you put in there? Uh, to represent the human race? I've got a specific idea. Okay, what do you have? It is a video of last year's Mandy Awards. Oh, that's great. That is a great uh, example <laughs> of what the human race is about. You know what that's about. saying? Is it's about The human race is all about themselves. Yes, correct. <laughs> because it we're is. Giving, because giving awards to yes. themselves. So really, that's a really good Yeah, I, I would say the Mandy's is a, is a good thing to put in How there. How do you fit that into a bottle? You, a little uh, video. Uh, I'm sure they have... Um, a, a USB. A thumb a drive. USB drive. A thumb yeah. drive, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm sure aliens have a thumb drive. Oh. I mean, they're more advanced <laughs> than us, so hopefully they have thumb drives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, That's, that was like 35 different versions ago. Exactly. Back. Linz, any thoughts? I would put an iPhone in there. An iPhone is a good call. iPhone yeah. is a good call. iPhone has everything Apple. on it Can to explain it? it all. Yeah, yeah, no, it does. You're so right. They would look in and go, what is this thing? Yeah. What I is think this? They'd thing? figure it out. What is this block? I, hope so. I mean, I, my dad figured it out. Cappy figured it out. You figured it out. Yeah, please. if my mom could do it, everybody yeah. can do it. Yeah. Uh, Brian, what do you think? I'd put in two copies Space Jam 1 and 2 to show them that <laughs> we will win. Right. right. Oh, I like that. <laughs> right. yes. We will win. But it's also showing. Michael that and LeBron. It shows us that we're getting worse over time because the first Space <laughs> okay, Jam was very fantastic true, yes. and the second one was okay, so so the first decline. one. We're yeah. in decline. I thought the second one was okay, but it, was, it wasn't meant for us as adults or us as the someone that watched it but originally. my inner kid went to see it, and it was, I was yeah, well, my you, inner I kid mean, that, wasn't You thrilled. had to get deep, deep into your inner kid. It was for children. It was. For yeah. little, little children. So like you never said, do you stick anything in the bottle? No, I mean, I like I like the Mandy Awards. I like, no. 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 I mean, it has something to do with gambling, because that's basically what our world is about. <laughs> it is what I don't our have, world what, what is can we about. Give you would a, stick a Shohei's interpreter. <laughs> <laughs> Shohei's interpreter. Oh, Ipe goes Ipe. right into the bottle. Right into Sorry, the bottle. Ipe, that's your oh, punishment. All right, so... Let's use this as a jumping off point for uh, some gambling talk since you keep bringing it up. I would like you to make a mythical money bet today, oh, we Bergman. We have not done that in a while. The <laughs> Lakers are plus nine and a half tonight no at LeBron. Milwaukee. No LeBron. I don't know if, if D'Lo is going to play. Can you look that up, Linz? Is, is D'Lo going to play? I will check right D'Lo now. D'Lo missed that you. last game. Um, but I give me the Lakers plus nine and a half. They actually play... They've won some games without LeBron. They've Didn't actually, they win at New York with they out LeBron? They won at New York. They won at Boston without uh, AD and LeBron. Right. So right. That, so they do. They play. By the way, when LeBron's off the floor, it kind of spreads the game out a little bit more. The right. Ball, it's more ball movement because he's sure. he's so ball dominant. Yep. That they have to move the ball around a little bit more. But also, whenever we bet mythical money, it's brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the largest and number one daily fantasy sports platform in North America. New members go to prizepicks.com slash 710 and use code 710 for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Excellent. It's funny you mentioned Prize Picks because there's a uh, story, gambling story. More gambling stories. Well, by the way, Delo's not on the injury report. He's okay. not, oh, that's good. It, so, was, it was an illness. So yeah, non-COVID he's okay. illness. Why do we say non-COVID? Because it's not COVID. I mean, it's it's really do we got to keep saying non-COVID? I, apparently, we need to. The Why? league is the one saying it. I'm. We're just reading. One's it. like your throat hurts. The other, you're tired. I mean, yeah, it's I mean, a flu I, and but, COVID. Are but as long di- as the league different. keeps saying it, what are we supposed to do? Yeah, they just call just it illness. Inj- illness now. They yeah. don't call it non-COVID no, anymore. Oh no, I saw non-COVID illness. When? Uh, it's, it's just illness. this last week. Oh, well, yeah, okay. for the D-Lo thing, non-COVID right. illness. We can say illness. Though. Yeah, we can say illness. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hold this John T. Murray story, the betting story. Uh, you don't for, want to do it now? No, we'll do it after What's Up Fool. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do some What's Up Fool. Lindsay's here. Brian's here. You guys both have stuff. Uh, we will do it coming up next for you. In the meantime, uh, let me tell you about the L.A. County Department of Mental Health. My partnership with them is um, really, really important for me, and and I hope it's resonating with a lot of you. Uh, The L.A. County Department of Mental Health is there to help you with free emotional support and service referrals and crisis counseling. If you are finding it hard to get somebody to talk to, uh, they have a 24-7 helpline. 
800-854-7771. That's 800-854-7771. Or you can visit their website, dmh.lacounty.gov. That's dmh.lacounty.gov. The L.A. County Department of Mental Health. It's all about hope and recovery and well-being. Mason, Ireland, 710 ESPN. Take it away, guest voice. What's Up, Fool? is brought to you by Dos Hombres Mezcal. It's fate. It's friendship. It's Mezcal. Dos Hombres. Look at that. How do I follow that? I don't. So I simply say, take it away, Corporate Greg. Take it away, Lynch. Thanks, Mace. All right, so my first one here, it's about this story that Mandy Bell from MLB.com did about about Uber drivers and baseball players, and it's called Inside Ball Players' Secret Uber Identities. Mm. So she asked a bunch of players, like, what do you tell Uber drivers when you're in the car with them? Because a lot of times we'll be like, oh, hey, what do you do for a living, guy? Yeah, like, you, you know. And so, like, Shane Beaver said, well, I usually have my preferences set to no talking, like, no conversation. But if they're a big talker, then I usually make up some crazy lie. Didn't get into the specifics. However, Logan Allen said that he likes to tell them that he's still in school. Um, Tyler Freeman said that he likes to tell people that he's an attorney or in real estate. So interesting. Everyone has their little stories they make up when an Uber driver tells them what they do, and especially you, Mace. Yes. Also, you, Greg. Being a public figure, what do you tell Uber drivers when they ask what you do for a living? If they, by the way, I also have quiet and cool listed when I do my uh, Uber preferences. You put quiet, quiet and on? cool. That's what is ridiculous. cool? Quiet. <laughs> Uh, cool, cool preferred like temperature. Okay, that, okay, that's okay, only yeah. with like Uber <laughs> Uber like, Lux, cool, cool. Brian. And you have to like, do like the really fancy cool. one for that. You're I'm, cool. I only want to go <laughs> cool Uber driver. I want a cool driver. <laughs> cool driver. I thought you were saying um, no, I always, cool, like If I get asked that question, I always say I'm in PR. PR that's a good one. And just sort of blow it off, and then hopefully they don't ask any follow ups. Like what a, if they do? Like a big firm? Or do you work with uh, like celebrities? What do you do? What happens if you get follow-ups? Yeah. But then, uh, if I get follow-ups, then I, then you got to start making stuff up. Yep. You're a good liar. With the studios. I'm with <laughs> the studios. Liar. That's good. With the studios? <laughs> with the studios. I'm with yeah. the studios. I don't, I Is that enough to shut them go, up? I, I can't get into the details. Yeah, I can't. No. It's, Top yeah. secret. Yeah. No, I'll tell you uh, this, though. Um, when I am in an Uber and they're playing the station, and that has happened to me where the station is on, 
I will always pretend like I'm in PR and say, so what do you think of this radio station? Because I'm curious to know. Who do you like? Who do you hate on the station? Oh, I love John Ireland. See, that Steve Mason guy, he sucks. See, and I and then I would turn to him and say, you know, I'm Steve Mason. You, say, you, you would say, you know who I am. I'm kind <laughs> of a big deal. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, has yeah. that ever happened? Have, the, have any of your Uber drivers ever recognized you? Uh, yeah, sometimes a couple of times they've recognized by voice. A couple of times they've recognized by face, which is interesting. But Well, uh, you're plastered everywhere now. Where you're, at Lake, you're at Laker games. Oh, you're yeah, at Rams games. Yeah, you're on. Right. We're on YouTube. You're, well, you're everywhere yeah, I guess now. So. I guess that's right. Yeah. TikTok. TikTok. I'm on TikTok. TikToker. <laughs> Instagram stories. <laughs> yeah. I'm big on the stories now. So I just say that I'm in radio. I don't say sports radio. What station? To, to, I would. I would say I'm just in radio. I just do a little bit. What stuff if on they the have follow ups? Like what? If they, yeah. If, but how often do they have follow ups? Like oh, most people when you say radio, they say oh cool and just move on because they don't care in the slightest. Can I just you, ask you one thing? Why doesn't everybody have quiet and cool listed on their Uber? Because because you have to do the fancy Ubers for that. I think all, that's first of all. I think that I've comes, never put one preference on my Uber app one time in my that life. That comes yeah. standard yeah. though. <laughs> Wait, what? What kind of Ubers do you usually book, Mace? Uh, the the right ra- not the fancy super fancy ones. What's the notch down from the regular? Fan- yeah, Uber, Uber X. Black? Uber X. No, I don't. Uber Black's really expensive. That's expensive. Uber X, I think is one. I, but I think it comes up automatically. Cool and quiet. <laughs> yeah, that one got me. <laughs> Cool, cool, like, collective. I don't know why you like. You don't like to talk to anybody. Is what we're realizing, though. You mm. don't like to talk to people in the elevator. I don't, you don't like, like talk to people in Ubers. No, I just I. You like talk it. for three hours. I like that's it. That's it. Quiet and cool. That's it. That's it. You, but you don't talk that much. I do talk a lot. No, you talk for three hours. Three and you, hours, and then you talk nothing at all. Yeah, but three hours. But that's it. But that's it. Oh, I got I got Those three hours, then you're done. You don't talk to Juan. You don't talk to anybody else. No, I have conversations. But like Juan always says, you leave the best of you on the air. <laughs> which is I've sad. noticed that which at a basketball game or a baseball game. That's very sad. Very sad. Uh, Bergman, you, uh, Brian, Uber driver, you don't do quiet and cool? Mm, I don't do quiet or cool. I think uh, once I get in, you know, very, very small responses to theirs. So then they get the picture like, oh, this guy doesn't want to talk. You know, if they ask a question, you're just like, well, one word answer back to him kind of. I like talking. If they talk to me, I'm happy to talk back to the Uber drivers. I'm not. It, it depends. You know? I've, I've had both ways where I've had like some very cool Uber drivers with some cool stories, and like they love to talk, and then some where it's like, man, this guy just won't shut up, <laughs> and, and it's <laughs> annoying. But that's when you just say to him and say, hey, look, I'm really tired. I need to get on the, the listen to this podcast or whatever it is. And you can get you can get out of it. I would just pretend I was on the phone. I'd be like, oh, hang on, and I would pretend I was talking on the phone, and then they just, you know, you sit there with your. I always had my say, Bluetooth uh-huh. in when I'm like yeah. driving to the airport because oh, yeah. I get uh-huh. car sick all the time, and I'm trying to do whatever humanly possible I can to not get car sick. And usually it's like blasting my music really loud, or just like I just have to take myself out of it. Yeah. What's up, fool? By the way, mine automatically comes up quiet. I just cool. looked. Mine, mine doesn't. You said it that way. Mine just mine comes just up said quiet. It's you got like people. Cool drivers. All right, guys. So we know it, it is opening baseball week. My favorite time of the year. Yeah. Opening day Thursday mm-hmm. should be a national holiday. I agree. My some of my favorite baseball memories come from opening day, specifically here at Dodger Stadium, being in high school. You know, playing a little hooky. Dad taking me out to the game. Yep. Getting poured, doused in beer, being only like 16 years old. Oh, nice. And, you know, great times. So the Dodgers this weekend opening on Thursday, but the their opening giveaways are pretty strong here. I was looking at it today. Isn't Saturday Freddy? Saturday, Saturday is a Freeman bobblehead. Yep. Uh, Monday is going to be out. a Fernando replica jersey. Oh, and then nice. Wednesday is a zip-up hoodie. Good. So when you Ooh, guys like book games, are you looking at the you know promotions at all, or are you more like who's pitching kind of deal? Well, I've got matchups? tickets for Sunday, so clearly I didn't know when the good giveaways are because there are no good giveaways <laughs> on Sunday. Um, but I I generally don't pay attention. Bobbleheads, I think I do pay attention to. Every once in a while. I, I know when the bobblehead nights are because they are really cool, and I've got some of them. Uh, do you do you have a lot of bobbleheads? I have in my office on my windowsill. There's a bunch of bobbleheads, but no, I don't go for the bobbleheads. I mean, I think they're cool. Like if someone wants to take one, Lindsay, you're welcome to go take one. Brian, have one. Wow, go ahead. Thank you. Um, I, I, I don't look at the games based on anything other than I want to be at a Dodger game. Like if it's if something happens to be there, that Freddie Freeman bobblehead, that's cool. What about I, Dodger blanket night? <laughs> Hello Kitty night. Hello I, Kitty I just night. like being at the stadium, yeah. and I like the, so I don't care who's pitching. I just get excited when I get a good pitch. I'm like, oh, cool, Kershaw's pitching tonight. Yeah, great. Yeah. But otherwise, no, I don't look at any of those things whatsoever. Lynch, yeah, my dad would always oh, only sorry, look Brian. at uh, 
pitching matchups. And it was like, oh, if Kershaw's, you know, pitching Friday, we'll go to that game. But if he's not, like, oh, we're not going to that one. Like, I've gone to a Hello Kitty night because I was dating someone that wanted to go to Hello Kitty night. So I really? found that and got that, yeah. And so they can get, like, the Hello Kitty bobblehead or whatever it was. Lynn, do you pay attention to yes, the giveaways? I always do. I mean, how do you think I got my awesome, like, Jose Ramirez bucket hat that I got when oh. I was in Cleveland? I was like, oh, I need to make sure I go to that game. Yeah. But, yeah, for the Dodgers Jose ones. Jose Ramirez bucket it, hat. It's great. Yeah. It's got his face all over it. Also, oh. I got the Shohei Otani Dodgers, or I mean Angels face jersey. It's got his face literally all over it. That thing is going for like 300 bucks on eBay. Is it really? Yeah, it might yeah. not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, a lot of people get their bobbleheads and immediately put them on uh, eBay you, and you sell them. They, they sell. And a lot of times walking out, if you yeah. have a bobblehead, people, somebody will yeah. say, I'll give you 60 bucks yeah. for the bobblehead. I'm like, all right, that's a good deal. Yeah, I got Take a that. Justin Turner one, and people were asking me, like, I'll give you two, 20 bucks for this. I'll give you 40 bucks for this. Yep. I kept it, but they, they will pay for it if it's the right bobblehead. Yep. Like a Freeman one probably will go. Uh, uh, the Otani ones, when they do the Otani oh. one, that's going to be an expensive bobblehead. That is. I bet it will. <laughs> it's going to be betting on how much it it's costs. O- the, the worst <laughs> seat in the house at Dodger Stadium on Thursday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 500 bucks. Yeah. The worst seat is 500 bucks. The upper deck, top Upper deck. deck, no view of the scoreboard. Well, we've sat there. Yeah. <laughs> I, sprung, Take- I sprung for tickets one time. We were literally, you could not even see the scoreboard. Take a listener to a baseball game, yeah. a local baseball game. Yeah, you get, don't get great with, seats. Was that the one with the entrepreneur? Oh, God, that was so The guy bad. who said, I'm an entrepreneur. And brought, means- brought someone in like, it's not around at all. Exactly. Like, he was somewhere completely different. Yeah, we'll do, th- we'll do that again. Take a listener to a local baseball game. When's you've been on that before, right? No, I don't think I have. You didn't come to Dodger I, games with me? I, I went with you, uh, Bergman, and Jorge to a game. Okay, but we didn't take a local. Yeah. No, that was just us all going. Right. That's when I had a Michelada yeah. for the first time. Oh, they're good, right? They are really good. They're I do not like them. I you love, love, love oh, Bloody Mary. I taste for a Michelada. Oh, I don't like the so, tahini. Oh, no, the tahini's yeah. so good. It's a little too much tahini for me. No, no I, I love it. it. I, I like a Michelada light on the tahini. <laughs> you can ask them to do that. Oh, I'm sure you can. Go ahead. Brian, you got one more? What's up, fool? Oh, I got one. Okay. All right, so a professor, uh, professor, <laughs> professor of gerontology and director of the USC Longevity Institute in California said that he wants to live to be 120 to 130. And he says, you know, that might possibly be possible. I don't know. But one thing he talked about was how the youth these days struggle with obesity because of what he calls the poisonous five Ps. Okay. Those poisonous five Ps are... Pizza, pasta, protein, potatoes, and pain or bread. So which of these poisonous five P's do you have the biggest problem with? Okay, so pizza, pots, pasta. Protein, pasta. potatoes, protein. or bread. Like, which one do you struggle to give up the most? Well, I'm assuming by protein he means red meat. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, what about white meat? Mine okay. is pizza. Mine's pizza. Mine is pasta. Oh. I could not live without pasta. It's, it's bread. Yeah. It's bread. I can't, I, can't, I can't stop. There's no chance that I'm not eating any type of bread. Tell you the other thing. I am. I have red meat probably four times a week. I used to. It's not, I was a big red delicious. meat. It really does nothing for you as a human. It is, it is delicious. It is very good. It is the most delicious thing. I, I can't eat it after 7 o'clock. Yeah. We've gone through this. I morning. would like to find a dish that contains all five bad peas. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good I'm one. sure you I'm, could. I mean, a, a pizza. I mean, you can just put it. Some pizza, some pasta with. You can, uh, I've had a tri-tip oh, pasta pizza. pasta bolognese with the, oh. the, with the uh, meat in it. Um, oh, and on top of the pizza. With uh, bread. With to well, dip the bread, in the sauce. The, this, well, it's the bread is the uh, it's the pizza. It's yeah, the pizza. <laughs> you guys should make that. Yeah, right, bring that dish in. Bolognese pizza. Yeah, I'll try. Right, it. You're on that, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. Bolognese pizza. Oh, that the pe- the gross. potatoes. You're forgetting the potatoes though. Oh, oh. bolognese with the hash potatoes. brown on it. Here's the thing. <laughs> I could completely live without potatoes. I could too. I don't. I don't need potatoes. of those five things. Potatoes are the one thing I can do without. I eat potatoes all the time. Do you? At college, I lived off potatoes too. It's so cheap and. They are potato. Cheap. What would I do? Yeah, yeah, survive off that. Yeah. What would I do during Hanukkah? A potato pancake. <laughs> right. a oh, that's right. What no am I going to do? Those are delicious. Yeah, they the are. Latkes are I, the best. Yeah, they are. So there's no chance I could get rid of that. I think we can get rid of pasta. I no, could, I, could, I could get rid of pasta. I, I could that. get rid of I pasta. Eat pasta. I don't every eat day. it very I often. I can eat pasta every day. So I don't. Know, I can't tell you the last time I had pasta. When I was growing up as a kid, we had pasta. Well, my grandmother called it gravy. She would make a big pot of gravy. Uh, with, gravy is uh, delicious. No, but with uh, sausage and they uh, call it meatballs. The pizza or the pasta sauce yeah, gravy. Yeah, they call the pasta sauce gravy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's an Italian thing. thing. It's mm, an Italian mm, thing. Mm, I don't understand mm, you Midwest people. Uh, that, no, that's, it's an Italian that's thing. An Italian from thing. the old world. Yeah, that's oh, okay. that's old world right. Italian. Right. Uh, but yeah, she'd make a big pot of gravy. We'd eat it all week long. 
You know, pasta every single day. I haven't had so pasta good. easily in a year. So good. Wow. And easily. I've told this story before, but when I was a little kid, I was praised every time I ate. So a if, little Stevie. Little Stevie. If I had thirds, Stevie's such a good boy. He's eating his thirds. He's eating, <laughs> he's eating his fifths. Oh, my God. He's so good. That's the kind of reaction I would get. So in the end, it encouraged me because I associated praise with overeating as a grown-up. I've been a big overeater because I used to get praise for it. Are you under 195 yet? I am. Oh, you are? I am. That's I, money for me, by I the way. I dip below 195 today. Good job. Stay there until <laughs> April 1st. After April 1st, you're allowed to oh, eat as be, much as you want. I, I'm going to be back under 190 by the time we get good, there. Good, good. No, not some, like, by April 1st. That's some serious psychological warfare your parents played on you as a child. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That was my grandmother, Rose. Oh, your grandma. Oh, my grandma, Rose. Rose. How dare you, Rose? She was tough. All right, uh, coming up next for you, Kendrick Perkins said something interesting about the Lakers. I want to get that to you. Plus, mo uh, uh Lindsay has something that happened with Chewy I want to get to. Uh, a story. How would you describe this story? Um, It's one of the most embarrassing things that's happened to me in a long time. <laughs> Excellent. Stay tuned for that. Uh, in the meantime, I and Bergman have both been using Cut. This is a legal betting app, and I'm just looking to see what I did last night, Bergman. I was 2-0. and oh. I was 4-0 and oh last night, all on NBA. Yeah, I was, uh, I was on San Antonio plus 12. Uh, uh, against Phoenix, and I was on the Hawks plus 10.5 versus the Celtics, and that game wound up close. So I, I ended up winning uh, two dimes on those games. Two dimes? Two you, dimes. you won 2K? Yeah. yeah I'm well, sure. two dimes. I, $10 <laughs> is a Ten dime for me. Okay, there you go. What did I you went, win? So I won, I won, I think, about $20. I was lower bets, but I bet against the Clippers, and that was an easy one because yeah. the Pacers smoked them. Oh, yeah, they did. Uh, I bet on the Kings. I bet on the Nuggets, and twice on the Nuggets, and won both of those. Yeah, there so. you go. So if you want to uh, take part in this completely legal peer-to-peer -peer betting app, you got to go download the Cut app. It's K-U-T-T. -T. If you want more details, you can go to cut.com, K-U-T-T.com, uh, or download the app. If you enter the code ESPNLA, you get a 10% deposit bonus, um, and uh, you can bet actually against us yep. or anybody else on the app, and uh, you uh, and, and I just noticed, Bergman. Yep. I'm back to where I started. I nice started job. with 200 bucks in. I'm back at 198. No, look at you. I put 50 in. I'm at 130. And actually, somebody did send me a bet. Did I have they? a bet. You tell me which way to go. Okay. He's telling. He's giving me Cincinnati Bearcats on the money line yep. versus Indiana State. Oh, Sigmund. Indiana State. Well, he took Indiana State. Oh, well then I get I'm it's plus four, but it's on the money line. Oh, Cincinnati, I'll take Cincinnati. All right, we're going Cincinnati. I'm accepting for you. Yeah, Jamay can one. There you go. Uh, you can uh, sign up for the Cut app, uh, download the app, and then join the ESPNLA group, and we're BSing in there all the time, sending each other bets, all that stuff. So it's Cut K U T T. Download the app. Mason Ireland, seven ten ESPN. Um.
On 710 ESPN, the OGs of LA Sports Radio, we're here each weekday, 1 to 4 p.m. for your afternoon. Sandwich between Travis and Sliwa and Sonato and Cap. Mason and Ireland continues now. All right, short show today. We're getting to Lakers Bucks pregame at uh, 3 o'clock with Slee. By the way, on the Cut app, Bergman, I yep. put out this bet. See if somebody takes the other side. Lakers plus nine and a half. Lakers plus nine and a half. At Milwaukee yep. tonight. Someone will take that. Somebody will take that 100%. bet. 100%. I want to put out a bet for the Lakers. I'm going to take the over. It's 232 and a half. Okay. I'm going to take the over. See if someone will take the under. Okay. I also no have, LeBron. I mean, it's... Sure. Yeah. I also have Miami plus three over Golden State, and I've got uh, Oklahoma City minus one over New Orleans. That's OKC, a great game, by I, the way. OKC New Orleans is a really good game. New Orleans is a, playing great. I would probably, me, myself, I'd probably lean towards uh, New Orleans because OKC has no bigs, and Zion can just eat yeah, as he much can. as he wants. Uh, I mean, I, he eats a lot. So. Yes, he does. Download the Cut app, K-U-T-T, and you can bet against us uh, and uh, having fun with that. All right, so uh, Kendrick Perkins, who is one of the more entertaining NBA analysts around, um, and a guy who often has things to say about the Lakers uh, said this was from yesterday, I think. Right, Lynn? Correct. On first take. Uh, this is Kendrick from first take yesterday on the subject of the Lakers. You, you, you know what that is? Uh? No. You know what that is? You what? know what that is, Molly? It's the old saying. You can smell doo-doo before you see it. We've been smelling doo-doo the whole season long when it comes down to the Lakers. They sitting in a nice spot. So what are we talking about? First of all, they got to get into the postseason. That's number one. When I'm looking at the Clippers, it's a bigger deal because of the expectations. LeBron James don't even have expectations for this Lakers team. He knows that they trash. He knows that they can't make any noise. That's why you, along with LeBron, was one of the ones at the trade deadline, including myself, saying trade. Get you another star in there. Get you a wing defender. Because we all know if they happen to get up against the Sacramento Kings, we know how the Sacramento Kings own them. We know how Sabonis owns AD in that matchup. And then if they happen to get to that next round or play against a, a Dallas Mavericks in the play-in tournament, you sure you want to go on the road and play against a Luka Doncic or a Kyrie Irving the way that they've been falling? So there is, uh, he's, they smell like doo doo. You can smell doo doo before you see it. Before you see it. I that like is the beginning. a fact. That's a proven fact. Now, here's the thing about the Lakers they've won five out of seven. Why does it feel like they're not winning? Because the, doesn't it feel like they're it feels like they're not winning, but they're actually winning. Yeah, because they're not moving in the standings. They're still staying yes. three back of the six throughout this entire time. And it just seems like they're because they're not getting any better. And you realize that the doo doo smell that he's smelling is yeah. that they're probably not going to do anything against the Nuggets or the Kings. Like right. you said, see, it, it's matchup dependent, like Sacramento. They would beat the Lakers in a series. Yes. Um, Denver, Denver would beat Denver the Lakers will. in a series. But if they draw OKC, I mean, they've had great success against OKC. OKC does not have any bigs to contend with Anthony Davis. So it's a, it's it. matchup dependent. Yeah, of course it's matchup dependent. I, th- I think it just depends on who they're going to face. But this team with LeBron James and Anthony Davis, I don't agree with Perk and the one thing that he said that the Clippers, that the Lakers have no expectations. When you have those two guys... You have expectations. Absolutely, You have to make it out of the play-in because they've been in the play-in or out of the playoffs five of the six years that he's been, that LeBron has been on the Lakers. Yeah, and by, That's the, a problem. And by the way, I also think, I don't believe that LeBron thinks they're trash. I think he does. You think LeBron thinks they're trash. I think he doesn't think they're very good. I, th- I, th- I, th- I would agree with you if this was like about a month ago. I think LeBron thinks, oh no, I think LeBron <laughs> thinks. <laughs> I think that you think that LeBron I thinks think that she that thinks that think, Lindsay yeah. thinks that Brian thinks. I think that LeBron thinks they got a puncher's chance in any series. I think he thinks that, but I also think that that's because of him. Yeah. I think, oh, well, sure. Yeah, I don't think is. that, he, like collectively, I don't think his te- he thinks the team's very good. So what is what does this Lakers team need? You need to have good games from both LeBron and AD, and you need to have good games from your other stars, like, right? Or your need a good guys. D'Angelo game. Good in, need good a good D'Angelo Austin Reeves game. game. Need a good those two and and Rui to play well. Yes, that can happen four times in a seven game series. I don't think that they're going to be beating Denver. I don't think they're beating Sacramento. Right, but I think because that's another team that could possibly give them some trouble. But other than that. Maybe Phoenix. I think they can beat Dallas. I know they can beat Golden State. Okay, but here's the thing. 
uh, and you're mentioning teams here that they could beat. The question is, can you beat them in one game heads up? And, of course, they can. But right now, if the playoffs were to go the way they are right now, and I I think they're lo- I think they're close to locked in. No, no, Dallas no. could still get the six. I mean, so Sedano was talking about this yesterday on Sedano and Cap, and yep. he's, I think it was a Trudell tweet. Okay. They need to be three games better than the teams in front of them to ju- to move forward. So that means they have 11 games left. They have to go 10 and one. Right. And so if they go if they go 10 and one and the other and Sacramento or Dallas go seven and was it five? Yeah. Or four, seven and four, they'll they will jump some of those. Okay, teams. so it's just a matter of going ten and one. Does not compute. <laughs> Who does in not the world compute? thinks that this team <laughs> well, is going to no, go I mean, ten and one? Well, I mean, look, their their schedule is actually kind of favorable down the stretch. They have Milwaukee today. That's going to be very tough. They're not a ten and one down the stretch I mean, team. Again, but it it still works with the amount of three. So if it's nine and two, then the other teams have to go six. Have yeah. to win only can only win six. If it's eight, then the only te- other teams can only win five. With Whatever. all with all due respect to all of the analysis and the uh, predictions and all that stuff they're going to be the nine most likely they're going to be the nine want to uh, know why yeah. we missed man and doodle the whole season long when it comes to the late there you so, go if they're the nine so let's play this out a little bit if yeah. they're the nine and they play golden state in the first round they're winning that they're winning that one game Abs- but most here's, likely but right the problem, right they'll be favored to win the game it'll be a crypto versus golden state but can golden state rise up and beat them sure they can beat and, them. in a one game if if, if uh, steph gets hot if clay comes off the bench and puts up 30 like he did in the what last do you think season? the line is on that game los angeles at home versus golden state what's the line What's the line? Yeah. At home versus Golden State, probably Lakers minus three and a half. Yeah, probably Lakers minus two and a half, minus yeah. three and a half. Yeah, so a very, very close very, game, very right? Close. Yeah. Then they would face the winner, if it were to freeze today, face the winner of Dallas and Phoenix. No, um, Sacramento. I've got Sacramento as the six and Dallas well, as the seven. Refer- maybe I'm on the standings right now. Yes, you're right. Um, so they would face the winner of Dallas-Phoenix on the road. And again, there they're going to be underdogs. Yeah, most likely they'll to, be they'll be two and a half or three and a half point underdogs to both of those teams. They would probably Phoenix. We've already seen what Yusuf Nurkic does to to AD. He's had, right. AD's had good games against Nurkic in the past. Yep. But in the last game, he's Nurkic has been playing well enough, putting up twenty some rebounds. Yep. It just it's a bad matchup, especially when all three guys are healthy for Phoenix. So like Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal, and Devin Booker. Yep. That's a problem. That would be a loss. If they're the nine, mm-hmm. what's the best position they can get in the standings? They can get the eight. And who do they face in the first round? As of right now, Denver. It's over. And it's over. It's no, over. I totally agree with you. Yeah. I would love to see them move forward, but if they have to face Denver at any point, it's over. They're going to do all this work to get to the eight, and they're going to lose to Denver in the first round. Now they. So you're saying it's doo doo. What Kendrick said. Yeah. We just met the doo doo the yeah. whole season long when it comes to the Lakers. So let me give you an alternative world. Okay. They wind up the eight. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. And OKC overtakes Denver, then they get OKC oh, in the first I round. Mean, we're hoping hurting. for And OKC <laughs> is a team that they can beat. What are you what are you rolling your eyes at? I just at feel there, like no, this is all going to come down to like the last day of the season. Yes. And it so is. I just feel it's like the all the drama. Seating, I know, but That's it's just what we like want. so confu- it's a lot. It's like the you know that meme where the guy's looking up and he's like, "Oh, and there's all the numbers all in the, the air." Numbers That's what I feel that like. That is this kind of that's this time of year. Yeah. This time I mean, of year. This is what we do over the last 11 games of the season. Y equals MX plus B. That's a that's a formula false. for something. <laughs> that's false. What is it? What is uh, the X? I don't I don't remember. Y equals yeah. MX plus B. I think it was something. All right, uh, coming up next for you, something goofy happened to uh, Lindsay and uh, and Chewy, her dog Chewy. Uh, I'm going to save that for tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to explain the new NFL kickoff rule. How about that? Oh boy. <laughs> Please do. I feel like that's a little bit easier to I, explain, right? I need than to the hear playoff well, seating. It's not. May says he has a, the right way. I've to got the right it. way to explain it. It's very <laughs> complex, but I got the right way to explain it. I've already explained the NBA standings. I'll explain the new NFL <laughs> cook up. Uh, I kick think I explained next. the NBA standings that it didn't work. Um, all right. So if you are injured, is Jacob coming in today? Yeah, yeah. He's playing He'll game be of games here in 15 minutes. Right, excellent. All right. So if you're injured in an accident of any kind, you're probably wondering what are some of the advantages of hiring Jacob. Well, first of all, you're hiring somebody who's been doing this for 25 years. But maybe the simplest answer: Jacob and his team are going to hold your hand throughout the entire process. He will handle everything. From the phone calls to the rental car to getting your car fixed to finding a doctor in your area, everything. He will deal with the insurance company on your behalf. And Jacob can immediately get you the medical attention that you deserve. 
25 years. Reputation, clout, he will get you the compensation that you deserve. If you're injured in an accident, only one name to remember. It is Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. 844-24-JACOB. That's 844-24-JACOB. 844-24-JACOB. Or remember... Accident or injury. Call Jacob and Ronnie. Call Jacob. Call Jacob.com and make sure you're following Call Jacob on Instagram and Facebook for prizes, insight, and more. Today is the final day to submit a chance to win tickets for the upcoming LAFC match against the Galaxy. Again, that's at call.jacob on Instagram and Facebook. Mason, Ireland, 710 ESPN. Hey, I'm Dave Denholm. And I'm Mario Rees. You know us from the LAFC radio broadcast. Now we have a new podcast called LAFC Plus, and you can find it on the ESPN LA app. LAFC Plus brings you all the latest on the black and gold. Plus, we break down the latest news and interesting stories from around MLS. For all the news, fun, insight, and everything that is MLS and LAFC, join us on LAFC Plus. LAFC! It's available on the ESPN LA app and everywhere you get your podcasts. Join us.
happened to me the other night when I was moving into my new place. So it's a house on a cul-de-sac, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a gate to get to the back. And I'm unloading my stuff. Chewie's running around in the backyard because it's fenced in, right? And I didn't close the gate all the way. And Chewie runs out, gets escapes. He's sprinting, running all over the cul-de-sac. And it's like 1030 at night. So I'm trying not to be too loud by and also yelling sure. for him. Like, I'm like, Chewie, Chewie, get over here. Like, Chewie, you want some cheese? I'm trying to like trick him into thinking I had a treat or some cheese. These people across the street open their garage because they're taking out their garbage cans. So this like older lady comes out and she's, you know, wheeling out her garbage cans to the street. All right. And then he runs over to their garage and he's like, you know, going up to the lady. He jumps on the lady and she's like, oh, it's OK. I'm a dog person. And I was like, Chewie, come on, let's go. Let's go. And then right as she, he's jumping on this other lady, mm -hmm. the door to the house from the garage opens up and this other lady comes out and opens the door. Chewie ran in their house. Oh, oh no. Wow. And he was in there for like a good like three or four minutes and wow. I was just standing in front of the garage because I didn't want to like encroach all up in their space and I was like oh my god I'm so sorry I don't know what to do I'm so embarrassed and the one lady was like I think it was her mom and her daughter like a mom and her daughter and yep. she was like it's okay we're dog people it's okay but the lady whose house it was was not okay with I'm it I'm sure she was not and it was, I, I, it was well, so embarrassing Chewie didn't do any business in there though no right? he just ran in there and he was just like running around you don't around. know you don't, like, uh, you don't know what a dog is going to do especially in right. a new area right. oh, I mean, their territory the in, fact oh, that he no. went in their house was like mortifying, yeah, mortifying. Did, did you run in after and no try because and... I didn't want to like you can't go into their house I didn't even want to go in their garage I was like standing right in front of the garage going oh my god I'm so sorry Chewie Chewie so how did Chewie get out he eventually just like sprinted out and I had to scoop him up up is soon like I had to be ready for him. I was like bracing myself because he's fast. I cannot catch him. Really? Yeah. So and, just oh, that, that sounds all around embarrassing. It was, and he, I didn't think he would be able to run that fast because he just got injured and he's been on crate rest for like two weeks. But that's probably why, because you know I haven't been able to really walk him or anything. Right. Right. So then he would just like let it all out at once and embarrass me, and now I'm like I'm afraid to see these people in the light of day. No, you're gonna be best friends now. Yeah. Now, now you have a you have a shared. They know trauma. your dog, so and they're dog yeah. people. So embarrassing. Shared trauma now. You're all right. Good. So the uh, NFL. I want to get to this. Uh, we're gonna do game of games coming up. It is Brian's game today, Correct. right? And Jacob's gonna be here to play. So I wanted to quickly exp explain the uh, new NFL. Kickoff let me hear role. your the way you're gonna explain this. It's gonna go great. Okay. So, now on kickoffs, there is officially a landing zone mm -hmm. between the goal line and the 20. The red zone. The red zone, right. Yeah. You must kick the ball as a kicker into the red zone. Yes. And it, it will then be fielded and returned. Now, if you kick it into the end zone, you get, they get the ball at the 30. Right. So, they get really good field position. So, you're incentivized to not kick the ball into the end zone. If it bounces and rolls into the end zone, then the team gets the ball at the 20, not good field position. But ideally what's going to happen is the ball is going to be kicked. It's going to land in the red zone. Somebody is going to receive it there and run the kick back. So there will be a kickoff return. It will just be somewhere between the goal line and the 20. I so thought that was a pretty good explanation. That, that was pretty good. If yeah. you catch the ball in the red zone, the, the uh, you, goal it, line to the you have to return it. You can fair catch it, but then no, you'll you be cannot. at the 20. No, you cannot. You cannot fair catch it inside the 20 so if you ca if you kick it into the red zone right and the, and the receiver catches it you cannot fair catch you have to t pull take it out yet if it bounces into the end then zone it's then different. it's at the 20 then it's at the 20 right it's going to be very confusing to watch but i but like everything else with the nfl we're going to get used to it like in a week i'm sure it'll be fine uh, i'm just at the of the opinion and we talked about it i think last week just get rid of kickers get this if the fact that we have to keep changing all these things around just get rid of it I don't think we. I, this is ridiculous. It's fine. It may work for a little while. It's gonna no. It's gonna work. It's gonna create action on it's kickoff. It's very returns. short because all of all of the defenders are on the forty. Or uh, so if you're the kicking team, yeah. the kicking team is on the opponent forty yard line right. already. So they are only have ten yards to get to get a running start, and they have to wait until the receiver actually okay, grabs so, the but ball. But here's the difference now in the game. I think is that right now kickoffs just go through the end zone and no, there's no action at all. Right. Yeah. Fine. Now, there has to be action on every kickoff. If you get it into that area, sure. Right, and I, I would imagine the kickers are going to become very effective at right. landing it in the red zone. And what happens when most of that it all just happens the exact same way that they just pull it out and they get tackled to the 30 every single time? Well, I, every I, single time. It's not going to be every single time. I mean, most if you have sometimes a it'll be if the you 25. A, if you have a dynamic returner, something good can happen. Yeah, I don't, there's, there aren't that many Devin Hesters left that are good. It's, I just don't see a lot of it happening. Basically, 
Kickers in general are a waste of time in the NFL. It would be better for the game itself if there were no kickers and only punters. Oh, how dare you say that? I know Cappy will be mad. He'll be so mad. Ma- yeah. That's fine. I don't care because I just don't need them anymore. It's a better for the game. If you, I, I want to see Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes win a game for me. I don't want to see Tyler Bass or you know somebody kicking a field goal and missing it and losing the game when they were never stepped on the field. I know this has to do with the, uh, the kickoff, but I just don't need kickers anymore. Yeah. They're a waste of time now. They're a waste of time. That's like a complete overhaul of the game, I'm hearing hey, 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 one, two. I can hear you guys. I I don't know who it is. I need more of you. Hello, hello. (laughs) Is it is it Ireland? Is he in uh, Milwaukee right now? Hello. Check, check, one, two. Check, 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 one, one, two. Wait, I hear it in my headphones too. I heard. I hear it. Someone's talking. Oh man, they got. Is it over? Did you figure out what button it was? No, I have no idea. The Russians are taking over I don't again. Hear anything mini mania, I, mini mania. Yeah. It's like in queue, but it's like distant. Yeah, it is distant. I'm sure it's from the arena in Milwaukee, but I just don't know who's talking. All right, uh, coming up now for you is uh, Game of Games. It is Brian's game today. The great Jacob and Ronnie is going to be here to play it with us. Mason, Ireland, 710 ESPN. The- Hey, I'm Dave Denholm. And I'm Mario Rees. You know us from the LAFC radio broadcast. Now we have a new podcast called LAFC Plus, and you can find it on the ESPN LA app. LAFC Plus brings you all the latest on the black and gold. Plus, we break down the latest news and interesting stories from around MLS. For all the news, fun, insight, and everything that is MLS and LAFC, join us on LAFC Plus. LAFC! It's available on the ESPN LA app and everywhere you get your podcasts. Join us.
ESPN. And it is time for Game of Games on the number one sports radio show in L.A., Mason and Ireland. Game, Game of Games. Games. Game of Games presented by CallJacob.com. Call Jacob. Everyone loves a fighter, but in this town, winning matters, especially after an accident. So remember, anyone can fight, but CallJacob.com is here for you when you need a big win. After an accident, go to CallJacob.com or call 844-24-JACOB. That's 844-24-JACOB. We got the jingle. Call Jacob. Thank you. Game of games time. Take it away, Mace. All right, here we go as we get ready for Lakers and Milwaukee in Milwaukee. Ireland is joining us. Of course. Of course he is. Uh, <laughs> wait, you didn't think I was going to give up my game of games lead that easy, did Hell you? No. Hell you know, no. You, not, you do not have a lead in Ireland. No. Well, I won on Friday. Who's ahead of me? It's uh, Bergman 4, Ireland 4, Brian 4, Mason 3, Laura 1, Andy 1. Ooh, it's close. It's close. And Jacob Bermrani is here. How many is Jacob? Hi, Jacob. Jacob's Hello. about to have two. Jacob's about to have two. That's yeah. the, that's the <laughs> attitude. Well, Three Jacob, second place finishes. Jacob's will finish two. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, Brian's game today. Brian, what do you got going? All right. It's an honor of opening week. Got a little opening day game coming up okay. here. So got it. Multiple choice, a couple true and false. Okay. All right. Number one here. Bob Feller threw the first ever no hitter on opening day in 1940. Who else has thrown an opening day no hitter? Nolan Ryan, Randy Johnson, or no one? Okay, Mason says nobody. Uh, Jacob? I will go with nobody. Nobody. Uh, go to Bergman? Nobody. Nobody. Uh, go to Linz? What were the choices? Nolan Ryan or Randy Johnson? Randy Johnson. Uh, unit and uh, Ireland? Nobody. Nobody. What's it the correct nobody. answer? It is nobody. Yeah. There you go. I think I uh, so, uh, Bob, hit, Bob, Bob Feller pitched an opening day no hitter. Right. right. Yeah. So that, was, that, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that was question. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I'm not going to lie. That's how it okay. started off. He said Bob okay. Feller was the only was the right. first Kurelles. person. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mason, Sorry. Jacob, Sorry. Bergman, and Ireland Sorry. all on the board. Brian, what's number two? All right. Five hit, five hits in a game from a single player on opening day has happened 14 times. It happened twice. Okay, never mind. Scrap that question. Okay, getting rid of that question. <laughs> the answer is two. Two. I gave the answer. Yes, sir. Two is the answer. <laughs> number three. <laughs> All right, number three. True or false? Hank Aaron hit his 714th home run, tying Babe Ruth on opening day. Jacob? Uh, false. Uh, Bergman? False. Lindsay? True. Uh, Ireland? True. Uh, Mason says false. It is true. Oh, it is oh, true. I didn't opening realize it was day, on opening day, 1974. I didn't. I didn't. Re- did you know yeah. that for sure, Ireland? Yeah. And then two days later, he played against the Dodgers and uh, and hit it against hit 715 against the Dodgers. So wow. sadly, Downing. sadly, Ireland has the lead. Uh, uh, Brian, what's number four? All right, Hall of Famers Frank Robinson and Ken Griffey Jr. share the record for the most career home runs on opening day. How many career opening day home runs do they have? Six, eight, or four? Uh, Bergman? So I was thinking four at the very beginning, so I'm going to go four. Bergman says four. Lindsay? Eight. Eight. Uh, Ireland? Four. Four. Mason says four. Jacob? Four. Four. It is eight. It is oh. eight. Oh. Wow. Nobody Did have eight. Nobody anybody have that? Nobody got that no, point. No, no. Um, Lindsay got Lindsay. Said eight. Oh, said Lindsay eight. got it. Yeah. So Lindsay's got two. Ireland's got two. Mason, Jacob, Bergman, one. All right, here we go. Number five. In the 67 seasons in Los Angeles... How many different opening day starters have the Dodgers used? Oh, wow. 26, 32, or 21? Hmm. Uh, we start with uh, Ireland here. 21. 21, says Ireland. Uh, let's see. Uh, me comes to, I will say, 21 also. Jacob? 26. 26. I'm Berman. 32 for Sandy Koufax. 32. And Lynch? Oh, man, you guys all took other ones. Um, 26. 26. It is 26. It is 26. Ah. Oh, so, Lindsay's got the lead. Uh, Lindsay's got the lead. Jacob's got two now. And Mace has two. If and I win, can I donate my win to someone else? No, 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 no absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, Jacob. Jacob, like, yeah, Jacob. What about me? What about me? <laughs> you can donate it to Jacob. Okay. Thanks, John. Okay. <laughs> Ireland, do you happen so to have the score? <laughs> I don't. Okay. All right. That's that's all right. I got it. I'm terrible at keeping score. But uh, uh, you should have had me do it. I what's, it what's the next one? All right, here we go. For the Dodgers, who started more opening day games consecutively? Is it A, Kershaw, or B, Don Sutton? Mm. Uh, let's see. It starts with me. I will say it's Kirsch. Jacob. Kirsch. Kirsch. Ryan, Bergman. Kirsch. Lindsey. Sutton. Sutton. And John. Kershaw. 
Kershaw. It is Kershaw. It is Kershaw. I knew that. I just wanted to be different. So Kershaw with eight. Wins. Sutton had seven, so only one, one else, one off. Okay, so that's Lindsay with three, Ireland with three, Mason with two, Jacob with two, Burton no, with two. I got two. three. No, no, no. Oh, Jacob got three. three also, by the way, Mason. I have three. I'm, okay, great. Yeah. And I have two. Okay, it's very close. I have four. <laughs> Lindsay has four. Excellent. All right, we go. Another true or false? <laughs> no, you have th- you have three because you missed that one. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Brian, the false. Angels have played sixty-three opening day games. They have an overall winning record on opening day. True or false? Uh, let's see. It starts with Jacob. I will say true. Bergman? So they've only been decent recently. I'm going to say false. False. Um, Ireland? False. False. Uh, Linz? False. I'm going to say true. It is false. It yeah. is false. 26 right. and 37 record. Dude. Okay. Yeah. So. They're, just, they're just not a good franchise. So um, <laughs> let's see. The score is now. It's winning a game. So did Ireland, <laughs> Ireland has four. Greg has four. Four, I think Lindsay has four. Did you say false or true? <laughs> I, I I missed this one. You missed that one. <laughs> so you have three, three, and Mason still has. Three. I'm beginning to wonder how game of games even happens when I'm not, <laughs> not here. There. Normally it Greg is. keeps score, well, and I'm no Ireland I keeps score. I should have. I should have been the one keeping score. Have. Okay, okay. <laughs> good, good thing I'm honest. Okay, right, this would be like exactly. a perfect way to jump on another. I've gotten the last two, so I'm at four. Okay, I'm at there four. you go. You pick up the score. You keep writing during. Give me your give me your pen. Got Thank another you. true or false here. Right. Another true false. Four, okay. four, four, three, three. All right, we're true good. True or false. The two games in Korea saw more people in attendance when the Padres were the home team. Hmm. Interesting. No, that's... Uh, let's start with uh, Bergman on this. So the Padres were the home team the first night? Uh, I'm going to say true. Uh, Lynch. True. Ireland. True. Mason says true. Jacob. I'm going to go against all of you. False. Correct answer? It is true. It is true. Jeez. Right, so you... Trying to get that point. Yeah. Oh, Jacob, you're right there. Five, Come on, Brian. <laughs> I got two more for you guys. Okay. Hang on for a score count. Bergman's <laughs> keeping score. No, I think. Because you, you try and write numbers. It's so Correct. Weird that is numbers, numbers, right? Correct. Right. Tally them. So, yeah, so Greg has five. Lindsay has five. I don't know what that thing says there. It's Ireland has five. Mason has four, and Jacob has three. Okay, got it. Damn, I fell behind. Brian, how many are left? I got two left two and left. a tiebreaker. Okay. okay. True or false? Bartolo Colon has the most opening day starts for the Angels. Um. Okay, we got to go to the leaders okay, here. So Ireland. Ireland. True. Uh, I will say, I'll say true also. Lindsay. False. Uh, Mason. False. And Jacob. False. It is false. Yeah. Jared Weaver. Weaver. Okay. Oh, Jared, Jared Weaver, Weaver, of course. Yeah. Sense. So five. Lindsay got that. Lindsay now has the lead with the last one. So Lindsay has six. Ireland, five. Greg, five. Mason, five. Jacob, four. Sorry, Jacob. You are out. You're out, Jacob. What? Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Jacob, there's a very good chance you're leading in this. We have no idea. No idea. All right. All right. Last, one. All right, last, All right, so last Lindsay, one. Lindsay has to go first, Lindsay and we all have to go first. opposite. Right. Who have the Dodgers played the most on opening day in all of their history? Is it A, Padres, B, Phillies, or C, Giants? Lynch. Uh, Lindsay? Giants. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, Ireland? I think it is Giants, but I got I got a score, so I'll say Padres. Uh, I'm going to say Phillies because I can't say Giants. Mason? I also am going to say Padres. It was the Giants. Yeah. yeah. The Giants Woo, takes, the, takes the W. Lindsay with yeah. the last job. Lindsay, you have two. She wants to donate her points. Yeah, I'm going to donate my <laughs> win to Jacob. <laughs> to Jacob. <laughs> Congratulations, Jacob. Yeah, way time. to go, Jacob. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I Winning enjoy- the hard I, way. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, uh, Ireland, how are we feeling there in Milwaukee? Yeah, I'd feel better if LeBron was playing. Yeah, that's for sure. How about you, uh, Jacob? And- how do you feel about it tonight's game? Listen, I, I mean, the, I think the Lakers play well even when LeBron is not on the floor, especially on the road. So as long as AD comes out and is AD, everybody else is going to wrap around and we'll have a good game. Yeah, Ireland, they've played well with LeBron out with They're 5 without and him 4 on the floor. without yeah. LeBron this year. Yeah, they've won some big games without him, so I wouldn't count them out. It's nine and a half point spread. Wow. Uh, so Milwaukee is a pretty heavy favorite, but uh, we will find out. The game is coming up for you next. Jacob and Ronnie uh, joining us. Thanks for joining us as always. Uh, game of Games is brought to you by Call Jacob. Call Jacob.com, 844-24-JACOB. That's 844-24-JACOB. Ireland, we will be listening for the call. All right, boys and girls, have fun. All right. Uh, coming up next for you is uh, pregame. 
Lakers versus Milwaukee. And as always, it is Slee with the pre. The call of the game is coming up for you a little bit later here on the home of the Lakers, 710 ESPN.